Today I have, for me at least, one of the most exciting unboxings I've ever done. This is the brand new MacBook Pro with the Retina display. If you're watching this in the distant future, when everything has a Retina display and you don't even have a name for it anymore, this is the first one with a Retina display. So this is really cool at the moment. And this came with it. Um, I'm going to open this first because I'm not sure what it is. Strange little envelope with an Apple logo on the front. Okay, this is the £70 gift card that I get with the the MacBook Pro because I'm a student. That's nice. And this is to spend in the App Store. Okay, moving on to the more important thing here. There are two models of this with the Retina display. This is the cheaper one but with 16GB of RAM. So that should be really nice. I don't know where the top is. Is that upside down? There we go. You can see how thin it is. You, you don't see much on the box. Um, it just says MacBook Pro along the top. Uh, the back is mostly empty. The whole thing is wrapped in cellophane with no way to open it. There's probably an easy way to open this. I'm just stupid. Here it is. Time to open the box. Hopefully the lid just slides off. Yes, it does. Oh wow, presented really nicely on the top. Looks good. It has a little tab to pull to lift it out, which is very convenient. Fairly light, considering it's aluminium. So we have designed by Apple in California, as always. Made in China. Hello, quick start guide. As always, Apple stickers, and I assume this is just to clean it. Then we have the power cable. So there's the power cable, then we get this bit, MagSafe power adapter. Okay, it tears on the bottom. It opens. Reveal the screen. So the interesting thing is you get Thunderbolt ports for anything really. USB 3 ports. You get a headphone jack, but no microphone jack, which is interesting. I don't know why they've done that. HDMI, uh, yeah, the SDXC slot, another USB port, and I think that's it. So, should I plug this in, or just turn it on? I'll just turn it on. If uh, Who knows, it might not be charged. What do I do? Do I hold it? Oh, there we go. It is charged. At least enough to give me a white screen and bong. There's the Apple logo. Let me move this a bit closer. Now we don't get the, the cool intro anymore like we used to with old versions of OS X. So this thing has a solid state drive, 16 gigabytes of RAM and i7 processor and it seems to be taking ages to start. To use English for the main language, press the return key. What do I do? Mac OS X includes a built-in okay, screen reader talking called to me. VoiceOver. If you know how to use VoiceOver, press Command F5 now to turn it on and set up your Mac. If you would like to learn how to use VoiceOver to set up your Mac, press the Escape key. It's asking me which keyboard layout I want, US or British. Surely it should know. Now with no Ethernet port, I'm forced to use Wi-Fi. License agreement, which I've obviously read. The choice here is agree or shut down. The clicking is actually really annoying. You can get it to make the noise and for the trackpad to move, but it doesn't actually click if you do it really softly. This bit's like a puzzle to figure out where to scroll. Scroll there, then you can start using OS X Lion. So we're at the desktop. The first thing it prompts me to do is log in to iCloud. Now iCloud is bouncing at me. So the screen looks really, really nice with the Retina display. Text is just so sharp. So, there is the unboxing. Eventually, I ordered this quite a while ago. I've been waiting weeks and weeks for it to be delivered. But there it is. The new 2012 MacBook Pro. Thanks for watching.